Silvaria, you... you haven't been toying with me? I told you. I've been at full power this entire time. No, I don't believe you. That would mean... I won. Well? Will you finish me off, then? Ah! <laughs> Game! <laughs> You're not being subtle, Valkyria Chronicles 4. Kill you? I already proved myself, so I don't care anymore. Hooray, victory! That was an A rank. I did it. I've won. I get to live another day. Yay! What's all that racket? <laughs> racket? What is the meaning of this? What happened to the test? We had it. She won. It's over. What? You can't just decide that. Yeah, I totally can. I told you, I have sole authority over this appraisal. If you have a complaint, then go bark at your master. Why, you? Cremaria is far superior to both of you, both as a soldier and as a human. Oh, snap. Do not fool yourselves into thinking you've tamed her. She has the will to resist her fate. <laughs> is that all you have to say? Oh boy. All I hear is the whimpering of a sore loser, the lieutenant colonel who lost to a reject. Pathetic. Halt! I'm not done talking. Yeah, what's the result of the test? Did she what Silence. Oh boy. I'll report the results myself. As for you two, get out of my sight. Oh snap. <laughs> So we've seen what this battle looks like from Crimaria's side. And from Crimaria's side, it feels very heavily slanted in favor of Selvaria. So the second part will be easier? A battle between Valkyria. Soldiers, be sure to etch this into your memories. Uh-huh. So, Crimea has lost herself. Getting too close carelessly will mean your death. Her attacks have a very wide range. That's true. Uh, there's nothing to worry. I'll take care of her. Uh, you just take care of her mooks. Okay. So, we win by killing Crimea, And we lose by not doing that. All right. Show me the extent of your power, Crimea. Okay, so does Cremaria have 25 extra dude, dudes and some tanks now? We are nothing alike. You are weak, and I am strong. The difference in our fates is proof of that. Mm. No, you're wrong! How pitiful you are, Cremaria. Back at the laboratory, you had the highest potential out of any of us. If you continue to put on such a shameful display, all I can offer you is a swift death. <laughs> Sam says that Selvaria has the same half hit point potential that Cremaria did, which makes sense. Gabe? <laughs> Game, I feel that this might be ever so slightly slanted in Selvaria's favor now. Or in Cremaria's favor. So. So Cremaria has 11 tanks. <laughs> Is that 
it's um 11 takes great good good i like that 11 tanks hmm now i wonder i can't help but notice that there's a line of tanks right here and a line of tanks right here and a line of tanks right here can selvaria just get up alongside these tanks and go whoosh right through the tanks that would be very good i would like that immensely let's find out together okay. also you only have seven command points this time so it is like trickier to manage your shit Silvaria has two powerful attacks at her disposal, the Beam Weapon and the Gatling Beam. The Beam Weapon can pierce through multiple enemies in a straight line, but its shots are limited. The Gatling Beam is less powerful, but it fires multiple rounds and has unlimited uses. Uh, she also has high defense and HP, meaning charge right through the fuckers. However, she cannot hide, crouch, or capture enemy camps because, frankly, that's beneath her. And she uses two command points because, well, she's an old-school tank. All right. Hey, look, a line of enemies. All right, so we've got the Beam Weapon, the Gatling Beam, yeah, let, let's find out how strong this line is, shall we? Prepare yourself! Target down. No! Well, that went well. There. It's exception damage out. Jeebus says that this reminds him of those RPGs where you face the big, scary, powerful villain, but then when the villain winds up in the party later, they're basically a little kitten. Uh, you mean like Minerva Victor in Valkyria Chronicles 4? Because that exact thing happens with Minerva Victor in Valkyria Chronicles 4. Just saying. Understood. Anti-tank down. Oh no! Oh, oh, it might not be a problem actually. I think we're fine. Prepare yourself. We're basically fine. I think we're broadly speaking fine. Come on. Prepare yourself. All right. So there go the last of her tanks. Interception damage. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. Good lord, there's a lot of noise happening. So what I've done is I've wiped out eight tanks, and now I've put Selvaria in the middle of everything, so that when it's time for the enemies to act, Selvaria can just scout around and bling 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 them off. So. That'll be good, one assumes. Additionally, uh, I'm gonna have uh, Geld take a pot shot at this Trooper Elite, because honestly, this Trooper Elite poses really the only threat to anyone at this moment. Although, there's a Sniper over here, and this Sniper could, uh, this Sniper is actually best qualified to take out a dude, so maybe I'll take out the Sniper instead. Here I go. Kinda depends on what you can see. So there's the Trooper, there's a tank way over yonder. Reload, and that's a fence, that's a fence, that's a fence. There's the Sniper. Okay, what kind of shot do we have with that Sniper? Not a great one, but... Oh, you father mucker. Oh! Oh, and he got a counter snipe! Mmm, worse. Significantly worse. Oh, oh. Astonishingly worse. Okay, all right. Oh, get in the grass. If you get in the grass, oh, I should have had you get in the grass to begin with. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. I was chosen. There. Just... Boy, she shoots loud, don't she? Hmm. So Primary's gonna go over there and hide, which is rude. Oh look, a tank! You missed. Gel, do we wanna pick off this trooper? Oh, 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 nope, nope, Selby's got him. Here we go, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Good work, Selvaria, presumably. It's just like, nope, 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 that is second thought, don't want to do that. Okay, so. Selvari is kind of low on hit points, but importantly, only kind of low. Also, I can't help but notice there's three dudes all lined up in a nice little row. So what if, say, we just have Selvaria run over here, merc these three things, run down this way, 
and vaguely start uh, threatening uh, Grammaria. That could work, or it could get Silvaria killed. One of those. Let's find out which. Okay, please. This power. How can someone so powerful resign themselves to such a pitiful existence? You don't understand the pain of being unchosen! You're right. I was chosen by his grace. But for want of a nail, it could have been you. Mm. I'm only here because I can give my life, my everything, to fight for him. It's a deep cut literature reference you got there, Selvaria. Do you have the will to fight and a reason to live? I fight to survive, nothing more. Then you cannot possibly measure up to me. I mean, I'm gonna win this fight, presumably, so... Everything I do is empowered by a greater cause than myself. And how do you line this up just so? Well, this is definitely gonna take out one thing. Hmm. Okay, so. I now have five command points remaining and a general desire to make make Salvari's life easier. So, what I'd like to do is snipe the sniper, snipe the trooper, snipe the trooper, and grenade the trooper? Oh, and snipe the trooper. Now, I don't have that much sniping available to me, but I do have some sniping available. I don't give up. All right, so these are all surprise attacks because nobody sees the sniper in the grass, right? Come on! Oh my god, Geld! <sighs> kinda sucks. You kinda suck. Stop missing. Thank you. No! <laughs> Kinda sucks. So, there is. Alright, you are gonna get dead. Come on! Good. I see. They're good. There's a trooper right there. Did you, did you just say that this man needs to be killed back from the next battle? That was awful. So, I want in the fullness of time, to get Theo the Engineer down to Selvario. I also want, in both the fullness and shortness of time, for Theo the Engineer to not fucking die. So, what I'm going to do is have Theo fill up Geld, and then sneak out here, and try to either headshot this trooper, or grenade this one. And I don't think that'll get Theo dead. Back up. Okay, so I think there's a sniper who has who has eyes on me. Yep, that's a sniper with eyes on me. That's All right, um, it would take four headshots to kill me. Commencing counter attack. Follow my lead. Keep. Ah! Those bastards. Piss. So I got Theo too close to this trooper, and this trooper killed him before he could grenade this one. Meaning. Realistically, anyone who's going to kill this trooper can't do it until this trooper is dealt with. Never give up. Come on! Oh, no, what? Great. I'll make you suffer. Huh? Just... So, Arya just killed her own dude with this. Primaria did rather. The names of these fucking Valkyria, man. I'll make you suffer. I mean, you say that. <laughs> nice shot, idiot. <laughs> Tank, you have a glowing weak point, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't really have a plan for dealing with that tank, unfortunately. I mean, I could have a plan for dealing with that tank. Yeah, I should probably have a plan for dealing with that tank. Okay, so if we, uh, yeah, if we bring your face off, we also kill this I tank, need right? Ammo. No! Huh. They might be soldiers after all! <laughs> 
Yup. Yeah, there's not a man there anymore. All right, so Theo's safe. Um, is he vaguely threatening in this direction? All right. Salvaria, can you give orders? Nope. Okay. Give me Lutz. And then, uh, it's Gelden time? I think it's Gelden time. Never give up. Zoom all the way in. Gelden, I don't trust you to hit that shot. Also, that guy's crouching. All right, there's a trooper you can kill, there's a fence, there's a fence, there's a scout you can't kill, there's a crouching sniper you can't kill. All right, rewind, rewind, rewind. Where's the trooper you could kill? Right there. Don't fucking miss this, you stupid idiot. Come on! Oh, I gave you a pep talk and everything. Where the hell did they go? Asshole. Oh, right. Forgot about that guy. Never give up. All right, Geld. Start hitting shots again, would you? Come on! Thank you. Jeez. All right, now, I want to get forward to there. Actually, why? Why do I want to get forward to there? That's a bad idea. All right, uh, Guild's gonna take out this scout next. <laughs> Kinda sucks. You're fine. Come on! Good work, Geld, mostly. Our allies have been taken out. Okay, uh, one command point left. Let's have Dennis run out here and finish off this scout before other things happen. Yeah, that sounds right. I got this. Be careful. Be careful. Don't duck. Oh my god, he didn't duck. They're good. Good work, Dennis. You're my favorite Dennis. Also, there's nothing else over there. Okay. Oh, buddy, you're lucky the top of that hill was there. Seriously? You're surrounded by fences! Guys! Guys, you're surrounded by fences! You're surrounded by fences. That man was determined to commit suicide by that area, which, okay. This man is similarly determined to commit suicide by Vicaria, which, okay. Reinforcements have arrived. Hey, can I have you command people to come with you? Yes, yes I can. Astonishing. Let's do that, maybe. Seems like an idea. A thing a person can do. What if... All right, who can see this trooper? Can Geld see that trooper? Geld can allegedly see that trooper. If Geld can see that trooper, that trooper's life is forfeit. Never give up. Gelds, you're my favorite Geld. Aside from all the other Gelds. But we don't need to talk about those other Gelds. You're a good Geld. Come on! Oh my god, you actually hit a shot. No! Great work, Geld. All right, can you get anywhere more useful than where you are? Because I feel like where you are is rapidly running out of utility. This won't even be a challenge. No, I think you're fine. So, next, I want Lutz to run down here and fill Selvaria, and then ideally, grenade this sniper. Although, honestly, why? How do I intend to get rid of that sniper? Because my thinking is, Lutz runs down here, fills Selvaria, runs over this way. Selvaria grabs Lutz, runs the long way around the back of these tanks so that the tanks don't melt Lutz, nukes the tanks. Then, with Lutz hidden away in the grass, Selvaria comes and takes a couple pot shots at Crimeria. However, I can't say a couple because I only have six command points. So, if Lutz comes down here, fills up Crimeria, and grenades the sniper to death, I don't think he has the legs to do that. That's a long run. So if Lutz comes down here, fills up Primaria. Well, you know what? Maybe Lutz comes down here, fills up Primaria, and just beelines this way. And then Primaria kills the sniper, grabs Lutz, runs around here. Primaria offs the three tanks. Lutz takes this point and hides. That's six command points. Lutz can take cover right here. I think I prefer that plan. All right. Step one, Lutz has to fill up Primaria. I keep saying Primaria when I mean Selvaria. Every single time I've said Primaria in the last seven sentences, just go back and replace that with Selvaria. It'll make more sense. I got this. Keep firing! Lutz is getting sniped at from all the way up here, which is not great. Uh, they struggle all they want. Okay, it appears as though there's a nice line right here for Selvaria to off these tanks, which is good. That's what I want. 
Now I think Selvaria wants to command this turn because she can absolutely run up here off the sniper, then grab Let's and come this way. So we're gonna do that. I will take command. Can you keep up with me? Is that all? Oh, buddy. Yeah, you're dead. Good job, Selvaria. Very good. <gasps> Amazing, but also annoying, but also useful, sort of. Okay, there's a trooper over here. It's gonna be mildly annoying. So, my plan is, Selvaria is gonna come over here, blast these tanks to Kingdom Come, and then stand directly in front of this trooper with her hands on her hips, daring him to do anything. And then we're gonna see what happens. Keep firing! Is that all? Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. This feels broadly line up. I'm pretty sure this kills all three of those tanks. Prepare yourself! I will no. run away. Yeah, that killed all three of those tanks. Got it. Hold position. I'll head over the board. Defense! Hello, friends. Yeah, Silvaria's just gonna stand there with her hands on her hips, daring them to do anything. And we're gonna see what happens. Meanwhile, uh, Let's is gonna swing in here, take his base, and fucking hide lest he be death rained. Here I go! Here we go! Enemy camp neutralized! My camp. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Whew. So, Primaria's power is capable of tearing down fences and murdering people, and Silvaria can nuke tanks, but neither of them can defeat an awning. Sounds about right. It does make sense, because after all, what is an awning if not a man-made jutting overhang? I was chosen. It's an artificial jutting overhang. There. You can't hit me! You can't hit- Oh god, you can destroy my sandbag! But you can't hit me, because I have a jutting overhang! A chosen. jutting overhang of my own creation! Be well, gone! Not my own creation, but actually he's an engineer. Maybe he built a jutting overhang. It, it could be his own construction! A jutting overhang of my own creation! You threw flame at me. You threw flame at me and then ducked! You threw flame at me. And then got melted. <laughs> okay. So, all of a sudden there are three units and the boss on the field. I feel I feel like we're in pretty good shape, but it could take a little while. So Vary's gonna kill this guy, and then run over here, and then just stand in front of Primaria with her hands on her hips, as if daring her to do something. Buddy. Buddy, do you really wanna... Here, just in case you duck, I'm gonna shoot your leg. Oh. Ducking gives you functionally infinite hit marks. I'm mad at this guy, so I'm gonna behave inefficiently for a moment. Awaiting orders. Fucking duck this, fucker. God! Asshole. So I've got three command points left. What I'm gonna do is Selvaria is gonna run over here and attract Crimaria's attention, and then Lutz is gonna swing into uh into, into this jutting overhang so that in the future he can run in here, fill her up, and run back without you know fucking dying. Alright, so that's 19. Oh, it's only six headshots. Okay. Well, let's take a minute then. You missed. Huh? It didn't occur to me that she might miss. It also didn't occur to me that there would be a dude over here, so that's a problem. Hmm. I got this. I may come to regret leaving that place. Fire! Fire! Nobody knows where Lutz is. It's fine. I was chosen. Yeah, primary, your, your infinite machine gun thing's not really cutting it. You're gonna need to do better than that. I'll make you suffer. Let's you better not, you better hope she doesn't know where you are. Oh, they have a whole, oh no, that's my news, okay. Did you just shoot at me with a tank that's up against the wall? Sam, that does sound weird. Here comes this random unknown big guy, David Ortiz. He's on the twins. I'm sure it's fine. I can't help but notice that these tanks have once again gotten themselves in a perfect killing line, which is just... It's really convenient for them. Well, for them, not for, for me, not for them. Okay, I know what I'm talking about. There. Huh? 
Oh look, at least one if not more dead tanks. Also, I've pulled down the CPU audio slider. It was ridiculous. Oh, just one? That's mildly off-putting. So if you're here... Hmm. Waboosh! Hi there. Follow me over this way, would you? I said follow me over this way? No? Interesting. Do I dare try to kill this scout with Lutz? I probably shouldn't do that. Should probably end my turn, to be honest. Like, what else am I going to do? I could have Geld to get up in this tower. That would just get Geld killed. It's a great way to get Geld killed, actually. Um... Hmm. Hmm. So I know, because of other units, that there's a scout... Right behind that awning. The scout doesn't see me coming. Good. Now, uh, this is the last bit of safe ground before you uh, you get off that way. So, stay right there, Lutz. Okay. Now, I could. I don't think Selvaria can make it to here with the amount of legs she has left, can she? That feels like a bit of a run for a scout on her third action of the turn. And also she's kinda dangerously low on hit points, so let's just bank those. We'll use them next turn, it'll be fine. Probably. All right, there's Elvari under half health. Oh, and those Crimea are running directly toward Lutz. Oh, Lutz, bless your stupid little soul. Okay. I was chosen. You sure were. Um. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be annoying if I lose this. I don't wanna lose this. Run away! Run away! Don't shoot anymore! Okay. So she didn't shoot anymore. That's good. Alright, you. Here, take a pot shot, because why not? And the reason I say why not is... We're going to have Lutz come over here and heal you a bunch of times. Because the thing is, I want Selvaria to be under half health, but only, like, barely under half health. I want her at, like, 1,992 instead of 812. And if my experiences with uh, previous uh, Valkyria battles tell me anything, this is only going to heal like 250. You have a yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. And we don't have healing requests. We don't have... I could give her a thousand hit points. But... I could give her 1,500 more, and I might have to, so... And I have to like, make sure that I'm doing it right and not accidentally shoot her and not accidentally end my turn before I do anything. And at some point, it's going to matter that Lutz has 27 hit points and is out of legs. Like, that's going to be a problem. Uh, this, none of this is good. Okay. So if I do this, that gets her to 1812. If I heal her one more time, she'll be at 2062, which is just above half, meaning that she can theoretically chart... Oh, but... Man. If Silvaria just sells out on a turn, she can kill me, is the problem. So... I think what I actually want to do Lutz is going to get dead is what's going to happen Lutz is going to sacrifice his life to give her another 500 so I'm going to give her 500 more hit points and then run as far away from her as I can but that's not going to be very far I feel great. <laughs> do you Lutz? do you feel great? is that true? get away! look at how far away he is oh boy I'll make you suffer. She probably can't kill me. She can definitely finish off Lutz, though. 
And that's a problem, because nobody else has Revival Ragnade. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh. Well then. Now that's a horse of a different color. So what I can do is run up to here. I can run up to here and headshot her. Ordinarily, it takes shit six headshots to kill her. And I don't have six shots. Does getting knocked under half and having my potential trigger mean it does double damage? Because if it does, that's great. If it doesn't... Yeah, there's no point in taking damage this turn. There's only theoretically some point in taking damage now, but we have to go for it. Kind of think this is actually the play. Because right now... Okay, okay, this is definitely the play. Because right now, she can't counterattack, she's too close. And she's looking this way, so she doesn't know what's happening over here, which means that Lutz can beeline for here. I got this. Lutz sees her, but she doesn't see him. So Lutz can run in here and get under once again, the jutting overhang of his own creation, and then crouch, so that next turn, he can fill up He can fill up Selvaria. And this turn, she can't one-shot me, there's no way. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is going well. So she might be able to take some pot shots, but that's it. Yeah, that's not actually a big deal. I'm not really concerned with that. This might take a couple more turns, but I'm confident now. Which is probably a bad thing for me to be, honestly, but, you know, details. I'll make you suffer. It isn't personal. Oh, what's did she realize where you are? Hmm. Good thing you built that jutting overhang, eh? All right, let's go get her. Hey, can I hit your crystal? Is that a thing? No, that appears to not be a thing. All right. Uh, so three headshots. Hmm. And again, I'll say hmm. That, um, that might just be doable, actually. Kaboom. Turn and face me. Thank you. Now, if she's looking this way, Lutz can run over here. And all Lutz has to do is tag her, right? All Lutz has to do is tag Selvaria, and Selvaria's got ammo, and if Selvaria's got ammo, we win this fight. Hello. Surprise. It's me, Lutz, the greatest hero the Empire has ever known! We win now! <laughs> Hooray, Lutz! I am Lutz, the champion! So this is it. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, the first time I did that, it was an A rank. This felt safer, but maybe I maybe it's just it felt safer because, you know, I took the time to murder nuke all the tanks and then it was just chased down and plink at Crimea a few times. OK, that makes sense. Yay, I got some renown. Whoopee. I already spent all the renown I'm ever gonna spend, but okay. Why? Why, with all your potential, can't you control your powers? Trauma. If you could only do that, you could serve his grace even better than I. I see. There's something I have that you don't. Someone to support your heart. Oh, snap. 
I mean, y you can really tell from this angle that Crimea needs a lot of support. You have lost. It's true, she has. I'm not done. I can still fight. Not against the mighty power of Lutz, you can't. No, it's over. It can't be. If I lose, they'll kill me. What will crying do about it? The results are clear. That's all that matters. So this is the non-canon version then. <sighs> I'll deliver the report. was my last chance. <gasps> what is the meaning of this? What happened to the test? I lost it. Hey, reject. What's going on? <sighs> you got in a fight without telling us? I uh, sort of. Lord Belgar ordered us to record everything. And yet. You idiot. You're getting scrapped for sure, you failure. Hmm. <sighs> okay. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Either way, though, let's report the results. In light of the test, I recommend postponing Subject C-12's disposal. She is fit to begin combat training immediately. <laughs> Keep saying, <laughs> Belgar. You have my gratitude, Lieutenant Colonel Bless. Thanks to you, I have more data than projected. Mm, not creepy at all, Belgar. These numbers... Just wonderful. I knew my faith in you was well placed. The light of the Valkyria shines brightest in combat. Mm. Holding the appraisal at Siegfall was a brilliant touch. If you'd fought near the capital, the Empire would have been destroyed before the war even started. I've heard Cremaria is to be placed under your command. Certainly. Of course. After all the work I went through to find this specimen, I won't let the laboratory have their way with it. I shall calibrate it myself. <laughs> Lovely. Allow me to say one thing. Yes. Valkyria are human, flesh and blood. And that matters to him because? Of course. That is why there is meaning in making them. She, Primaria, is the strongest and weakest of the Valkyria. Be awesome. careful how you handle her, lest you break her, or she breaks you. Mmm, that's good post-talk foreshadowing. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Gathering accurate data from Subject C-12 is crucial to my research. I'll take good care of it. Uh, her. Now then... I must prepare the calibrations. First, I'll measure how her brain waves respond to stimulation. Don't sound so excited about that, Belgar. Disgusting. Don't say that out loud, Selvaria. Well, she's gone. Soon. So very soon. Oh, Belgar, it's good that you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> A fateful encounter. Cremaria, that's you in there, isn't it? Sure are a lot of restraints and pills in that room. Also just various tubes. What are you doing here? To report the results of your appraisal. Some test that was. It doesn't matter if I pass or fail. It only changes whether the end to my suffering comes now 
or later. Hey, cheer up. You won, maybe. Depending on which universe we think is canon. I think the one where she won is canon, but that's just me. Listen, Primaria. We're the same. We have the same power. The same sadness. The only difference is that I had a fateful encounter. I found something worth living for. And a place where I belong. Which I will then abandon over the course of another video game, which you should have already played by now. <sighs> I've waited all my life for a prince to whisk me away. Well, if Disney is to believe is to be believed, someday he will come. But I'll never be chosen. Nobody's coming to save me. Uh, you know, there's a message in there about saving yourself, but no. Believe oh, maybe me. there is hope for you. Cling to that and use it to survive. Bakers, are you still here to say now kiss or do I have to do it? Because I feel like if I do it, I'm in trouble, but OK. There's no way a chance meeting could turn someone's whole life around. That's fairy tale nonsense. Thank you, sports fun. That's love. The heart is a fragile thing, but it can take on the world if it has somebody to support. You can control your will to fight, your power to kill, for the sake of the one you love. Okay. So the message is that the path to inner strength lies exclusively through finding a boink buddy. Hmm. No one like that is just going to show up. Not for me. Of course not. You'll understand when the time comes. I only say this now because I know how you feel. You and I are alike. A human and a weapon. When you meet someone who makes you feel more human than weapon, treasure those feelings. Are we to believe that Selvaria is saying all of these things about Maximilian? Cause I feel like Max is not the most romantic sort. I don't need your platitudes. Leave me be, Selvaria. Farewell. I pray that our encounter was a fateful one, too. Yeah, sports fun, I too am shocked that Valkyria Chronicles is not a perfect portrayal of realistic human experience. It's true. A fateful encounter. Could something like that, or someone, be out there for me? So in canon, Crimeria had this conversation with Selvaria and still spent her entire relationship with Vols, treating him like the shitbag motherfucker that he correctly should be treated like until the moment she decided she was in love with him. And we never actually saw any real progression from A to B on screen. Okay. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. If you give me Silvaria Bless. Silvaria Bless. With all that I am, I shall fight to win you victory. Sure, why not? It's post-game. This ain't canon anyway. Crimaria, you won't regret choosing me. I swear it. Also, you are a grenadier. Why not? Do we get Vols? Is Vols just a tank commander? Nicola Groth. Ah! <laughs> let's see what kind of commander you really are. No, let's bring Nicola and Kiara back. Why not? Kiara Rossino. Just try to keep me entertained. Okay. <laughs> well, there's the fucking reason! <laughs> A new outfit has been unlocked for Imperial characters. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. And if you want to catch the streams live, go to twitch.tv slash the underscore goog. The stream schedule's on screen now. Bye.